Hey you guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new to my channel, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button to stay inspired, to wise up and rise up above these narcissists. And with that being said, if you enjoy this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. What that does is it helps with the algorithm to get this video out there to more people who need to hear this message I'm gonna share with you today. So if you clicked on this video, you wanna know more about what does it mean when the narcissist blocks and unblocks you. The reason why I wanted to talk about this topic is because there's somebody on my TikTok that, you know, asked me, you know, what does it mean when the narcissist keeps blocking and unblocking me on Instagram, Facebook, just all over social media, or just the number? One minute he, you know, the he or she is blocking me and then unblocking my number, right? So at the end of the day, what that, let's dabble into it. I'm going to break it down and help you guys in this video to understand what does it mean when they block you, unblock you? What's the, you know, tactic behind it? Because narcissists, they always have a pattern. They always have a tactic behind what they do when they're doing it, right? So the main reason in why the narcissist blocks and unblocks you is because at the end of the day, it's all about control. Everything that the narcissist does is all about gaining power and control over you, over your mind and over your emotions. They know that it mentally and emotionally is going to break you down and make you question your worth, make you, make you question what you're doing wrong, make you question, do they love you? Do they not love you? And what that is, is going to keep having you hooked on them, focusing on them focusing on missing them, focusing on be begging and wanting so badly for their attention and their affection. So this is why they block you and unblock you because it's to, it's to mentally affect you where at the end of the day, you're going to want to keep going back to question, why are you doing this to me? Like, what am I doing so wrong? And keep begging and dragging on wanting answers and wanting their attention, wanting their affection, wanting to talk to them. They know this is why they love bomb you. And then they treat you like they treat you like shit, or they ignore you. And they play mind games with you because at the end of the day, what, how does it work with drugs? At the end of the day, the supplier will give you the most amazing drug to try out. And then after that, they know that you'll get hooked on it. So when they get, when you get hooked on it, you're always going to be wanting to call them. You're always going to be wanting to go back for more. It's the same thing with the narcissist. Their tactic is, is that they're going to love bomb the shit out of you, make you feel so good, give you all the attention, all the affection, all whatever it is that you desire. And then once they see that you're hooked on them, right, they're going to start playing those mind games. They're going to start Un uh, blocking you, unblocking you, disappearing, reappearing, um, you know, belittling you, manipulating you, gaslighting you, all this other stuff is going to pop up here and there. And then they'll come back and love bomb you when they want something from you. So at the end of the day, it's all about gaining control over your mind and your emotions. And they know that if you're constantly looking, let's say you guys broke up and you're constantly looking at their social media, they know that, that you're, they know that they're still on your mind. They know that you're still hurting. They know that it's still affecting you mentally, emotionally. So the narcissist will literally do childish, childish games, like unblocking you, blocking you, maybe posting up their new supply and doing all these other things to get underneath your skin because they know that you're going to react because when they, when you react, that's all the narcissist wants from you is a reaction. And once they see that you can react, they can see that they still have control over your mind and over your emotions. That's why if you ever want to, you know, I know this is bad to say, but like to get revenge from the narcissist or literally just gain back, if you want to look at it in a sense, to gain back your power, to not have that person have so much power over you, the best thing you can do is not react, not give a reaction. If they, if they feel like blocking you, cool. Don't look on their social media because what you're, when you're looking on their social media, all that's doing is torturing you mentally and emotionally because they know that you're looking they know that you 
are, you know, still me maybe mentally and emotionally hurt over them. So they will literally do things to poke, 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 poke at you to get a reaction out of you. So if you're constantly looking at their social media, they're blocking you, unblocking you. It's just a mind fuck. It's just a mind game that they're playing with you to gain, to keep having control over your mind or your emotions because they know they're affecting you. They know that that if they post up something or if they block you, unblock you, you're going to be second guessing yourself and questioning yourself, questioning your worth, questioning your value, questioning why don't they love you? Why are they blocking you? Because they know, they know that they're going to be able to mess with your mind and mess with your emotions. So this is why it's so important that when you guys break up, go no contact. You don't need to be following them on social media. You don't need to be, you know, having access, them to have access to you in any, side, in any sort of way. Because at the end of the day, it's not healthy for you and it's it's not going to change that person is going to keep poking at you to do spiteful vindictive things to get underneath your skin and get a reaction out of you right and i know that some people you know think that it's a sick game and it's sick they're, they're sick and it's messed up yes it is but you got to understand these people have a personality disorder they're not thinking like a regular person because of their personality disorder. So at the end of the day, it's like, think that the narcissist has a, a very childlike mentality. Think about it like a child, right? To them, you're just a toy. You are just an object to them that they can play with and they could put down. What happens to a child when you take away that toy and you set boundaries and you don't give that child a toy when they're not behaving, they throw a, they throw a tantrum, right? The child will throw a tantrum, get upset, you know, do maybe do do little things to be like, nah, 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 boo, boo. Like, I'm going to get that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they have a very childish mentality that they'll, they'll keep poking you to get a reaction out of you. So this is why they block you and unblock you because it's a game to them. At the end of the day, the game is to gain control over you. That's how they, and to win the game is to get a reaction out of you. So at the end of the day, if they know that if they post up something about a new supplier or about going out, about having this amazing extravagant life, because everything for the narcissist is all about ego. It's all about getting their ego fed, showing that they are the best person on this earth and you are the problem. And this is how they mess with your mental headspace to make you feel less than or make you feel that you are the problem because at the end of the day, they're, they're gonna keep doing things to push your butts in to get you to react. And they know that when you react, it's gonna be a negative reaction because at the end of the day, that's the whole plan. That's the whole game is to get you upset, to get you frustrated, to get you, you know, begging for them the whole point of the game is to gain control over your mind and over your emotions once they see they can have control over that and get get a reaction out of you then they know they feel satisfied it's like filling a hole the narcissists have a lot of holes with inside themselves and the whole thing to fill those holes is to fill it through supply getting supply whether that be supply of sex money, attention, affection, whatever. It's filling those holes with the supply. And if you are, let's say you're the one that left the narcissist or you're the one that started to smarten up and see certain actions of the narcissist. And let's say you're, you're, you know, you're, you're trying to get them to, you know, admit their wrongs. And, you know, at the end of the day, narcissists do not want to look themselves in the mirror and look at their wrongs. They will just keep moving on to different bodies and different peoples. And at the end of the day, you got to understand as well that they know how to departmentalize their feelings and emotions. This is why you would look at them and be like, oh my gosh, like, why are they blocking me? Why are they unblocking me? Like, they say they want to talk to me, but that they, they, they're blocking me. I don't get it. It's because at the end of the day, they know how to departmentalize their feelings. They don't feel the same way that you do, that you feel for them. At the end of the day, you are just supply and demand. And that's how they're going to keep on treating you if you keep allowing it. At the end of the day, it's up to you to turn around to say, if this person keeps playing these mind games with me and knows that I'm I, like, I'm hurt and I'm mentally, do they really love you? Do they really care about you? No, that's not love. And they don't give a shit about you because at the end of the day, they would not be playing those vindictive mind games with you if they did, because at the end of the day, 
you're just supply to them. They do not feel like they, they, they care for you or love you or miss you the way that you do. You feel those emotions, not them. And you have to stand in the facts to understand this, the, understand what I'm saying to you. This is the only way that you're going to be able to truly be able to heal and move on and move forward. When you stand in the facts of understanding these, they have a personality dis disorder. They have, a, they have these patterns of, you know, being vindictive, being spiteful, being manipulative just to get supply from you, right? Doesn't matter if it's good supply, bad supply. I have a YouTube video on that talking about good supply and bad supply. What does that look like to the narcissist? It's just supply. You are just an object to them in their mind that they want to get supply from, that they want to put down and pick up whenever they feel like it. It can be a year. It can be a two years. It can be a, a couple months from now. It can be a week from now. Whenever they feel like getting that supply, it really, there's no time frame for them in getting supply from you know, a, somebody that they were with. There's no time frame. So at the end of the day, the main focus is, is to turn all that focus that you're focusing on that person of why are they blocking me? Why are they unblocking me? And turning around and saying, this person does not love me. This person is standing in the facts. This person doesn't love me. This person doesn't care about me. Or they would not be blocking me and unblocking me and messing with my mental health and my emotions, knowing that I'm in pain and I'm hurting over them and I miss them. That's not love. And that's not somebody that respects you or cares about you. So at the end of the day, it's standing in the facts to know what I'm saying to you, that they have their patterns, they have a personality disorder, and they really don't give a fuck if you know you miss them or if you're hurting, if you're in pain, that what they're doing is, is really affecting you mentally and emotionally with blocking you and unblocking you. They don't care. It's all a game to them. You are a toy to them that they want to pick up and put down whenever they feel like it. And whatever they feel like doing to you at that moment, they will do to you with no remorse because at the end of the day, they know how to departmentalize their feelings to not feel remorse. It's not that they can't. It's not that these, I hear people saying that the narcissist is a demon and the narcissist is heartless. And no, the narcissist is just as human being as you are. The only difference between you and the narcissist is they know how to departmentalize their feelings and their emotions. As soon as those feelings start to rise even a little bit, boom, they catch it, throw it in, the, throw it away, lock, lock it, lock up the key and throw away the key. Because at the end of the day, they don't want to feel those emotions. They have a personality disorder. Standing the facts and understanding who they are and why they do what they do. And they will always play games with you if you allow it. So it's really and truly up to you. Now that you understand why the narcissist blocks you and unblocks you, because you are just supplied to them that they want to pick up and put down. And at the end of the day, they block you and unblock you to gain control over your mind and over your emotions because they know what hurts you. They know what you like. They know what you desire. They know what you want. And they will play around with that like you, you are just a toy. Your emotions is just a toy to them. Do narcissists feel? Yes, they do. But they know how to departmentalize their emotions. So that's why they do what they do. Because at the end of the day, it's never been about you. It's always about them. Their needs, their wants, what they, what they want in that moment. If they don't want it and they see that you're being annoying or they don't want you to see something, they will block you. When they do want it and they want something from you or they want to gain attention or they want to, you know, push whatever, just play with your emotions, play with your mind, they will do so by unblocking you. At the end of the day, like I said, it's all about supply, whether it be good supply, bad supply, whatever. Whatever strokes their ego in that moment and what they want, they will do anything to push your buttons to get what they want. So at the end of the day, the only thing that you can do for yourself, if you say you love yourself, is stand in the facts and knowing who this, who this person is and standing in the facts and understanding the patterns they have, standing in the facts and understanding that they will never change. They will only change partners. The reason why they will never change is because of their personality disorder with their ego. Remember I told you they departmentalize their emotions. 
they don't want to feel those emotions like pain, sadness, um, you know, compassion or any of those emotions because at the end of the day, those are too traumatizing for them. So they departmentalize them and then they they only show their emo they only show their emotions when they want to. But if it's anything to harm their ego, because they're all aligned with ego, then they will not look at it, period. They will not open up that door. So at the end of the day, please stand in the facts and understanding who these people are and, and block and delete if you don't have kids with them. That's the only way that you're going to be able to heal and move on. What's the definition of temporary insanity? It's doing the same shit, expecting different results. If you keep looking at that, that, that narcissist's social media, if you keep focusing on if they're blocking you and unblocking you and all that other shit, you're, you're the only person to blame. You're the person to blame because you're driving yourself temporarily insane. Because you know the facts. You understand who these people are. You understand the patterns. But at the end of the day, it's all up to you to say, if I want to keep allowing this person to hurt me mentally and emotionally, because it won't stop. It will not stop. <clears throat> the narcissist will continue messing with you until you set your healthy boundaries. And the only person that can set those healthy boundaries and make the change is you. And it's up to you to decide when enough is enough. You can talk to 20 billion people. And at the end of the day, if you talk to 20 billion people, you might feel good a little bit at that moment, but you're back to square one, feeling like shit, feeling like, oh man, I want to message them. Hey, it's up to you. Only you can decide when enough is enough. I tell this to people all the time who ask me questions. I said, I can share with you what I've educated myself with based off of my experience, but I can't tell you what to do. <clears throat> I can only educate you. You guys, knowledge is power only if you implement it. Knowledge means shit if you don't implement it. So we need to realize to stand in the facts, knowing what we know and making a change for ourselves and stop driving ourselves temporarily insane to give them access to mess with our, because no man, no woman, you know what I realized? No man, no woman should have that much freaking power over us. We are God's greatest creation. At the end of the day, no man, no woman should have that much power over us to make us feel like, be, make us feel less than. No, if you're listening to this, you are a queen. If you're listening to this, you are a king. You deserve the world. But at the end of the day, it's up to us to see that and stop allowing somebody else to dictate our worth, our value, and what we deserve on this earth. Because that's exactly what we're allowing them to do when we keep allowing them to walk all over us and come in our lives and unblock us, block us, and put us down like we mean nothing. That's bullshit. We do mean something. You are powerful. You are beautiful. You are amazing. You're God's greatest creation. No man, no woman should come inside your life and make you feel less than. And that's the whole teaching of being with a narcissist is learning to set healthy boundaries, knowing what boundaries look like, knowing your value, knowing your worth, knowing why maybe you're codependent, knowing why maybe you feel empty list if, if, that, if a person doesn't come show you love. There's so much lessons to be taught from being with a narcissist that I learned that many people out there, if you don't take the time to analyze and learn that, you're gonna meet back another person who's gonna block, unblock, and treat you the same way that the narcissist did and continue the same pattern because the universe and God is saying you're not learning the lesson that you need to learn in order to elevate and move forward. This is why I'm here sharing these videos to help you to wise up and rise up above these narcissists. Because if you don't wise up, you're going to contract the same damn shit back into your life, but a different person. And you won't rise up. You'll be on the same damn level as you were before with that narcissist or with the same narcissist. So at the end of the day, let's wise up and rise up together to stand in the facts, to know the patterns and study the patterns of these narcissists and know our value, know our worth, know our boundaries to again, wise up and rise up above these narcissists inside of our lives for us, for our family's sake, 
so we can be the best damn versions of ourselves. Thank you so much for tuning in on this video. I hope I motivated you, inspired you, educated you in some sort of way. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Get so this video can be you know shared with so many people out there that need this message today. I really appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys are joining the Wise Up Rise Up NARC community. Join my Facebook group. It's a support group that if you need help, if you want to ask questions, I'm there for you. Join my TikTok. I post at least three to four different videos, content on there to keep you educated, to keep you inspired, to not fall back into old patterns, to not fall back into old ways and help you to wise up and rise up above the narcissist. And obviously join my, my, my YouTube channel. And then I have my podcast that I drop podcasts every Thursday to keep you inspired. I'm doing everything possible to help you guys out there because I know how it feels. I know how it feels to be abused mentally and emotionally and be hooked on somebody who doesn't value you, who is not treating you good. It's time. It's time for us all to elevate and I'm here for you. Know that you're not alone and you can make it through if you stand in the facts and wise up and rise up above these narcissists. Thank you so much for tuning in this video, you guys. I'll catch you guys again on another video. Take care and stand in the facts.